What's up, my mathletes? That's right, Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And in this video, we're gonna review finding the six trig functions of a triangle when you have all three sides of a right triangle. So in geometry, you traditionally will learn three of them. You'll learn sine, you'll learn cosine, and you'll learn tangent. But when you get into courses beyond that, you'll learn some of the other trig functions. Now, when you go to find trig ratios, you always wanna pay attention to the location of the angle that you're given. So in this case, we're given angle Z, and angle Z is located down here. So the very first thing that we wanna do is from angle Z, we wanna identify three key parts of our triangle. So from angle Z, the side, if I go all the way over here, that is gonna be the opposite side. So that's very important to know. And then of course, the one that is right next to angle uh, Z is going to be the adjacent. We're just gonna abbreviate those OPP and ADJ. And then the hypotenuse, remember the hypotenuse is always going to be across from that right angle. So those are the three key components that we're going to need to put in to our picture. So identify the opposite adjacent and a hypotenuse figure based on the angle that is given. Now this is asking us to find the sine of Z, but we're actually going to take a look at all six trig functions. Now when I wanna look at the sine of Z, so when we, when we write that, of course, we'll need those pieces there. And since theta, is going to be our angle, and our angle in this case is Z, so you'll put sine and then Z is capitalized. That's going to be the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is 28 over 35. So that ratio, now different textbooks will consider that an okay answer, and other textbooks may actually reduce that. And although the sine of Z is that ratio of 28 over 35, we can reduce that because both terms are divisible by the number seven. So that could reduce all the way down to four over five. So once I know the sine of Z, uh, then I'm gonna move on to cosine and cosine of angle Z, that is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So those two ratios are going to be 21 over 35, that's gonna be the ratio there. And of course we reduce that, and then that would give us three over five, because seven is a divisor into each one of those, three times and five times. And then lastly, we'll find the tangent function. So the tangent function, opposite over adjacent, and opposite is 28, and the adjacent is 21. When we reduce that, both of them divide by seven, you'll get four over three. So those are the big three, those you should remember from your days in geometry class. Now, the reciprocal of sine, cos, and tan, the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. And you write cosecant, just CSC. And our cosecant of our angle Z, so there's two ways you can approach it. One, you could think about it, the relationship of hypotenuse over opposite, or you could think of it as the reciprocal of sine. So once we know the sine ratio, we can just take the reciprocal of that, which would be five over four. What, that's pretty cool, it's Muskie's birth, yay! Very good, may the fourth be with you as well, my friends. And then cosine, the reciprocal of cosine is secant. So once we know cosine, we can find the secant of angle Z and just take the cosine function, whatever that ratio was, and take the reciprocal of that, which would be five thirds. And lastly, the reciprocal of tangent would give us the cotangent ratio. And the cotangent is the adjacent over the hypotenuse or three over four. So those are gonna be the six trig ratios as we take a look at this unit. So again, geometry, you probably only worked with sine, cos, and tan. And in courses above that, you're gonna roll in the other three trig functions. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And by now, you should be able to find a trig ratio reduced down if you need to for any given right triangle. Thanks for watching. You guys made a great day, and I'll catch up with you later. Peace out.